In this video, I am going to tell you about probably the second most important integration technique after U substitution. Um, this technique has kind of a weird name, uh, but it is called integration by parts. Okay, so I said that it is the next most important integration technique um, after U substitution. So if you refer back to U substitution, um, the point of doing that technique was to undo the chain rule. And um, similarly, integration by parts is going to undo another one of the differentiation rules that you learned about, which is the product rule. So that's what we're going to learn how to do. Okay, so recall what the product rule does. Um, so if we take the derivative of a product of functions, so f of x times g of x, then what the product rule says is we first take the derivative of the first factor, so in this case df by dx, and then leave the second factor alone, so we multiply that by g of x, and then to that we add a second term where we leave the first factor alone, so f of x, times dg by dx. Okay, this is what the product rule says. Sometimes we don't bother with all of the x's, um, so in prime notation um, you can do f times g prime equals f prime g plus f g prime. Okay, same rule, um, just written out in slightly different notation in each case. Okay, so to um, come up with how we do integration by parts, basically we're going to take this expression and we're going to integrate both sides. Okay, so if I integrate the left-hand side, I have the integral of a derivative, and so this d by dx will just go away. So on the left-hand side, I'll have f of x, g of x, after I take the integral. And on the right-hand side, I'll have the integral of each term. So integral of df by dx times g of x dx plus the integral of f of x times dg by dx dx. Okay. Now, there's one more step before we get the rule that we use for integration by parts. And that rule is that I'm going to rearrange this um, algebraically. Okay, so I'm going to move this term here, the rightmost term, to the left-hand side, um, and then I'm going to move everything else to the other side. Okay, so um, when I do that, I'm going to get the integral of f of x times dg by dx dx equals, okay, so if I want this one to be positive, what I have to do is move the middle term here to the other side. This is going to equal f of x g of x and then minus the integral of df by dx times g of x dx. Okay, so this last line is just algebraically rearranging the line above it. Okay, and this is our rule. Okay. Um, now, 
because this rule, as it's currently written, is a little bit clunky, we often write this in a slightly different way that's easier to remember. Okay, so if you notice, we have dg by dx dx. And so we could actually write this a little more simply. Um, and so the rule that I memorized and that I think most people memorize is the following. Okay, so um, the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. Okay, so the connection between this um, line with f's and g's and the one with u's and v's is that f of x is u and dg becomes dv and then f and g are u and v and uh, here we have df by dx and a dx so that is all du and g becomes v. Okay, so this is a lot shorter and easier to memorize um, and this rule is going to allow us to integrate a lot of interesting sorts of integrals. Okay. So in the next video, I'll show you some examples of how this works.